Anybody ready to put a little flow into their designs? Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing you're going to need is whatever you're going to use for flow. So the first thing that you saw in the opening video was just a little like circle, little light going around like a banner. That was my intention with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a square. I'm going to round the corners a little bit. I'm going to head a little bit of a border on there and make it sort of kind of like a banner. Let's put a little fancy color in there just to jazz it up a little bit. Let's do some little blue and make the outline maybe blue or something like that. So my problem was is I wanted to I'm on the free version and I wanted to find something that looked like a light. I couldn't find anything that was free that looked like a little round light to go around it. So here's my workaround for that. I went and got me a text box. I went and got added a heading and I did a period right there. And then I went into effects and I put it in neon. So now it glows. So that's how I got that. That was my workaround for that. And then I just made it big, 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 big. And now I have a glowing dot. And then you just pick the color. Let's pick a good pink one. And that's how I did that. And you can make it as big as you want to. Um, the other thing, sometimes um, I see too, let's do another one here. We'll do, um, where's the backslash? Slash. We'll do a backslash. So you can do that if you want like that going around. So we'll do those two. So this is not anything special. It is more about a steady hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our little period here. We're going to go into animate. I'm going to click the bumblebee. And I am going to hold the shift key down. And then what I'm going to do is gently go around the edge like so very gently see I went too slow and when you do steady it'll steady it up but this is about patience I'm gonna because if you don't hit it right all right I'm gonna hit the shift key again we're gonna go and try it again and I'm gonna try to do it a little bit faster and we're gonna go around like so hit that corner good and like I said it is about patience and where you put it and then I'm gonna steady it up I can speed it up with my path so here's the kicker so if we want to do one that has an orientation to it what we want to do we're gonna grab this one we're gonna animate it we're gonna go and click the bumblebee I'm gonna hold down the shift key I'm gonna do the exact same thing and I'm going to go down I'm going to go across. I'm going to try to get the outline as, see I'm holding the shift key because I want it kind of straight. And then I'm going to steady that up, change my speed on it. But I want it to move. I want the orientation to move. So you want to go right here. It says orient, orient element to path. Click that on. So now it should turn and go around like so. So like if you're doing arrows or any of that kind of stuff. So the other thing, so the part two, of the different thing that I did was curved lines. So we'll take, we'll go into a new page and we'll just grab a line here and we'll do a curved line. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to elbow it and I'm going to make it curvy. Curvy. Let's go this way and we'll curve this one. So what I want to do now is I want to take a triangle and I'm going to curve that. So we're going to do like a flow. And let me curve that one more time. Let's see if I can curve that down like so. And we'll do the last part where we'll do the animation where it goes kind of into the into like a bucket and fill it up. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my arrow and you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to take your arrow going to go animate oh wait a minute it thinks I'm on uh, the line all right we're going to go animate I'm going to hold my shift key I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to go down I'm going to go over and you, 
like I said, it's more about a steady hand and getting it in the right space than anything else. As you see, I do a little bit of that there. You put it on steady. You're going to change your speed. You're going to put your orientation so your arrow will go with that. But it's more about of a, getting a steady than anything else. So once you got it steady and, out, and you want multiple ones, what you're going to do now is you're going to duplicate. We're going to like change the color to like purple, line it back up. That animation is going to travel. You're going to duplicate. We're going to change color, make that one pink. And then when you do that, what you want to do is you grab those. You're going to go here and you're going to go to show timing. You're going to hit your little arrow here and then you're just going to time them out. You can time them to go and how fast you want them to come down. So when you go to play it, you got your arrows going like that. Now, the last thing I did was the one where it went into a bucket. So what we do here is just do something simple with that. Let's delete that one and just let's get a box real quick. I'm going to make something that looks like a tube real quick. Let's go in here. Everybody knows my, I like using, I like making this color. It's like my five. So we got something to make kind of look like a tube. And we'll go in and just get a quickie square to make it look like that's where we want to go into. And we'll change that color. Maybe the same color as that. And we're going to go, let me go grab this pink. So here's another trick if you don't know how to do it. You want to move this element, this element to this page. All you got to do is drag it into that page. You don't even have to copy and paste. You can take it from here and move it to here just by moving it down like this. It'll move it to that page. So I got this, this here. So I got pink. So I want my foot when it fills up, I want it to come in at the bottom. So don't take it off the page. If you want to take it off the page, Always put your little invisible one with it. So if you want to take it completely off the page, all you're going to do is go here, duplicate, stick some at the bottom, make it invisible. Well, no, you can't do that with this. Never mind that part. Because if you group or anything, the square is the only thing you can do this trick with. I don't know why. You, I wish you could do it with all the other shapes. It would be amazing. But a square, you can do it. If it's grouped to anything, it won't work. So it's got to be a square on its own. So you got to go really tight at the bottom, which you might see a little teeny bit at the bottom. And of course, change that to the color of whatever your dot is, which I just didn't do like a goofball. All right, so our dot is pink. We're going to make it pink. So now what I'm going to do is I want to animate this. So I'm going to go, I am going to go in a position. I am going to grab that. I'm going to go. It's got the animation from the other one, so I want to delete that. And then I'm going to make my path. So I am going to hold down my shift key because I want it straight. And I'm going to go down, 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 down into here. I'm going to steady it. I'm going to go put done. I'm going to change the position because I want my dot to go behind here. So let's take my dot so it'll go behind here. And make sure that it's still in front of my tube but behind here. So if we watch it, it's going to go down and it's going to go down behind. So now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this page and then we want to take our box here and we want to lift it up however how you want to do. Now you want to put match and move in between. So this is where you get a little bit of you got to work on your timing. So we're going to watch this and when it gets to the bottom you might have to adjust this a little bit wherever your timing is because for it to hit right so you might have to tighten it up you might have to loosen it out so if this is going really slow then all of a sudden this is coming up and your dot's still here you want to extend the page that has this animation in it so if it's in here and it's sitting a little bit you want to shorten it up so like it was short so like say it's too long like so and it's down there, you want to shorten it up before that end. Let's say it's too short. And see how it comes up? 
So you would want to have to extend this out, that page out. So you just work on your time until where it hits and then it comes up. And the other thing you got to do when you come over here into the second page is you're going to take, you're going to go into position, go into position, and you're going to take your little dot and you're going to delete it. Because otherwise, did you just see where it, when it started coming up, your dot was coming back up? It was trying to go, it was trying to match and move itself back up here. So let's watch that. And it's going to go down, it's going to hit, and you're going to rise. And that's how you do that one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's how I do that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Make things move. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.